to get you in a better shot because you... Yeah, I probably should be framed a little bit. Well, no, you... We want, we have to be closer. Oh, we can be a little closer. There we go. Right. Hi, this is Chris from Northern Tag I'm on Rachel Tallahassee. Thank you for pronouncing it properly. I, I practiced. <laughs> Didn't uh, I tell you Tallahassee from Gallifrey? No, no. Or Tallahassee like Tallahassee. Those are the two. That, that, that makes more sense. Um, the director extraordinaire. Uh, I was. I had a, a list, and I looked at my list of all the things you, you had directed uh, from the Flatlands list tomorrow, and I realized it might be faster to mention the stuff you haven't directed. <laughs> Thank you. Because almost like, dozens of different television shows, uh, yes. almost everything under the DCU, you've uh, had a finger in there. And 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 so. I am fortunate enough that people have actually heard of them. There are many people who direct masses of things that, that are barely heard of, and I've managed to have uh, a I've managed to cross many fandoms. Yeah, and Dr. Who too. Yes. Dr. Who and Sherlock. So when I get in a cab and people say, have we heard of anything you have done? I can actually say, probably. Yeah, I can say, everything. What is your fandom? Yes, yeah, so I started with Nightmare on Elm Street. And going yeah, to the... you, you, were, you, were, you were involved in the Three or four movies. I was involved in uh, from the first six on some level, but wow. produced part three and part four and Freddy directed part directed. six. Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare, which is one of my favorites. And then usually the fandom likes to know that I directed Tank Girl, which is my. I was, I was gonna get that because I saw Tank Girl in the theater. Yay! I paid a ticket. Uh, I own it. It's. Um, is it? Is one of those things to say like? I look at I look at Tank Girl, man, like. This needs to come back. Like, and now and it, of all times. And it is. I mean, it shows on college campuses now. They do special screenings of it. There's a couple of 35 millimeter prints now that you can get pulled up. Oh, wow. So people are actually screening it specifically. because And it has a real fandom. And that's a huge thing for me to have a film that almost 25 years later, people really, really care about. That's yeah. Like, that's good. Well, I think it's because some of the things it speaks of um, these strong female characters, um, where you're expecting to be rescued, and it's, it's women have to fight for themselves for their own identity, and it's something that's in the '90s. And a lot of people were like, "Oh, this is not important." And today, it's like it's almost like this film has almost like it has to get made again, so people can get the point. They didn't get the message the first time. And now it is it's the good. ultimate. I mean, Naomi Watts tells the ultimate Me Too story. And it, it yeah. kind of amazes me all, that so we got it that so right in terms of the Me Too story, but it doesn't amaze me because that's what we were all going through all the time. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's very hard to find a woman who can't say that they've been through some experience with the patriarchy and putting them down. Oh yeah, totally. So, um, and I love men, but yeah. there, it, there is a huge part of my career which was still not having opportunities because I was a woman. And I found that so, I still find that shocking. And that how could it possibly, my gender possibly have made a difference? But look at it now, finally, as things are changing. And now it's like, yeah, I mean, it's a no brainer that counts. But they said, you'll never make a female action hero work. And when Tank Girl didn't do any business, they're like, see, we proved it. And now it took. 20 year, 20 over 20 years for Wonder Woman to bring it back. And we have Captain Marvel. And now we have Captain and Marvel. And, yeah. again, so. and now the change is finally here. But I mean, I had no idea when I was making this that this would be um, that it would take. How dare it take that long? Yeah, Ex exactly. It's one of those things where I say, you know, I was like, here's here's the 80 million. Let's do Tank Girl again, and then it's going to find that audience. But for me, it was just like um, I related. I, I didn't relate, but my favorite character was. Uh, was um, uh, was, was Jet Girl uh, in that it's also because I was a young kid and I had a gigantic crush on <laughs> yes but it was just that was that was the type of character like I she was sort of like I love you when you're young yeah. that was the character that was like that's the type of person that I want to see I, that was the type of characters I like and instead we have the damsels in distress it's like I don't want I don't want the damsels in distress I want to be rescued I want to be the damsel in distress because strong female characters are so important, and it's, it's, it's really impressive that we're finally getting that, but it took 30 years. Yeah, it took 30 years, and it's really hard to come to terms with that. And yeah. To, to, and, and then to see this, when people act like and, and, it's and a you were, And you were, really, you were really young when you made that film, too, as a compliment. Because <laughs> you directed that, and uh, you, were, you were just 30, 30, 30, 30 uh, I think. Yeah, early 30s. Wow. 
Yeah. And then, and then, I know on top of that, there's so much film to make because it is an epic film. Oh yeah. And was... you had not you didn't you didn't have a you didn't have a total recall sixty million dollar budget. You no, had twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. To make that. Movie. Yeah, and it was challenging, and that's why the comic, the animation panels are in the middle of yeah. it. Not the panels, but the animation sequences, because we could never yeah. get the action. I, I, was, the I remember being almost turned off, and then I saw it again. I went, "No, these make it for me." I like it. it's one of those things where it's it's different. That's a unique vision. It's, it it kind of adds character to that story. I think in the day, people thought it was too, you know, you just threw the kitchen sink in, yeah. and now they're so familiar with it doesn't bother anybody that we it's like once I was on a panel where people were um, uh, judging rock videos yeah. and somebody said oh they use too many styles I'm like it's, it, have you never seen a rock video that's the, the essence yeah. is, is and I think now the vocabulary is just okay we tried a lot of things and but it was consistent because it was a wacky film yeah you ever one of situations like, yeah, a female directors are coming back, and you're like, hello, I've been here for the last. Oh, because uh, yeah. I mean, for me. Welcome to my life. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and now it's like, oh, but well, you're old. Oh. <laughs> no, not for me, but yes, they. You, you you're feel slapping that. with a tank girl issue. Yeah, <laughs> you feel that. You're like. Well, okay, well, I mean, Catherine Bigelow. Yeah. Is, she, she's she, she's like the same age, isn't she? No, she should be. I don't know exactly, but yes. But she just got yeah, an she's Oscar. Been around. Yeah. Right. And she's one of the greatest action directors. Yeah. I was so happy when she just trounced her husband. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like because I saw I saw that in the theater. I was just like mind blown. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, you uh, are you returning back to, to doing feature films? Are you still like doing television? Um, te- well, premium cable is where it's at, and yeah. doing, certainly doing Doctor Who and Sherlock and things like that. I mean, and this year I did American Gods, which was amazing. Oh right, you're doing the season two of American Gods. And I did Doom Patrol, which nobody's seen, but is one of the most coolest shows on television. And everybody should see. Yeah. yeah, just hard to get access to still, but look for it. It's amazing. Um, but I am. I'm doing a feature film for Netflix, um, and I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet. But I'm just about to start. Oh, also, you're starting production. Starting prep. Uh, oh wow. Next week. Damn, I'm not gonna be able to hire for my film. <laughs> I know, we'll talk. We'll talk, yeah. Yeah, so that is fantastic. I mean, transitioning between film and, and, and television, I mean, television is a bit lower budget. Do you have feel more more restricted, or you find more liberation? No, much more restricted yeah. in terms of, well, the television is, uh, and it is what they say, television is a producer and writer's medium, film is a director's medium. Right. So you're always at the, I mean, premium cable is amazing, but hello. much less time. Yeah. And so, hello. Oh, yeah, well, go ahead. I'll, uh, we'll, we'll move around and see uh, some fans here. Got a lot to talk. I am a massive Doctor Who fan. Okay. I have bags and phone covers and costumes. And Rachel's directed like seven episodes. Yeah. So there's my photograph of my personal photograph of Peter's Tortoise. Well, I'll leave you to your fans. Okay. This was Rachel Talley coming out with a new film on Netflix. Go watch her many things and a new episode of American Gods. And go watch Doom Patrol. Go watch Doom Patrol. Thanks a lot. Thank it's been you. A nice to meet you. Thanks. That's Rachel Talley. Thanks, guys. <laughs>